Good day everyone, this is Damres Photography and today I'm going to be teaching you how to clean up your background. So I'm going to be teaching you how to clean up your background. I'll probably also to show you how to overlay, put overlays on the background like let's say fabric overlay, you got the textured um, background overlay. I'll also be showing you how to change the colors of your background you get what i'm trying to say so it's going to be all about background cleanup as you can see we have a rough background here we have a lot of things we're meant to clean up in this background so first things first i'm going to crop the image the way i want it this is not the way i want my image to look this is not the crop i want my this is not i want to crop my image so first things first before you crop your image make sure your image is a smart object so my image is a smart object so i'm just going to crop it right now yeah i want it around here okay let's leave it around here oh this has to go oh yeah mm, yeah around here too yes the eye level okay so i like this crop size i'm going to leave it at that so my image is cropped right now so what i'm going to do next is flatten this image so i have this image flattened next thing i'm going to click on ctrl j to make another layer that's a copy of that layer so i'm going to first of all separate the image from the background because i need to separate the image from the background and then the background from the image because i'm going to be working on just the background layer so i'm just going to go to properties panel and then i'll click on select subject so first of all i'll ask photoshop to just select the subject truthfully photoshop doesn't do a really good job it does good job but not a perfect job so we would need to use um uh, we would need to use active um tools let's say tools like we would need to use tools like uh the lasso tool or the quick um quick selection tool or the pen tool but for me i use the editing quick marks tool any it doesn't matter the um selection to use once you know how to use it just use it to perfect your selections but for me since i use a graphics um, tablet i'm going to be using the editing quick marks tool because it allows me to use a brush to make selections so first of all i just need to zoom into my image and see the places that were not selected well you can see around the legs they were not selected well so i'm going to fine tune that i'm just going to pick my brush to click on the editing editing quick marks tool and then I'm going to use a black brush to add to that selection. Okay, so as you can see, we have a clean, we have a clean selection right now. We have a clean selection. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on Ctrl J. Then again, I'll click on Ctrl. I'll go to my lasso tool, then click on Ctrl and hold and click on the top layer. So by doing that, I've made remade the selection I've made previously. I'll go to my beneath layer. I'll right click and click on Select Inverse, and then I'll click on Ctrl J. So as you can see on this layer now, I have just my background layer. Now I can work on the background. On this layer right now I can work on this layer just to clean up my background so first things first normally I'll use the control um the um, um, um the normally uh, what they call I'll use the content aware fill to, to fill up this background but what I found out that it's better for you to fill up the top part of the background before you fill up the beneath part of the background the reason why is so that you have control over um the parts that you want photoshop to fill up okay if i work on the top parts of the background i can make sure that photoshop will be able to just fill contents from that top part of the background to other parts of that top part and i don't have the um, parts of those beneath layer on the on the top of the background you get what i'm trying to say so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to make a selection of all the top parts of the background i want to fill so right now i'm using the rectangular marquee tool to select this part I'm also going to make sure I'm on the addition and then I'll select this part too. Yes, this part. I'm also selecting this part. So make sure look everywhere and make sure you've made your selection. Yeah, I think I've made my selection here. Yeah. So I'm going just going to right click and go to content aware fill. 
on my brush to make sure I'm on minus and then I'm going to use a, use the brush to, to clean up this part because I don't want it to use the beneath the beneath uh, the, the floor of the background I don't want it to use the floor of the background to fill up the the top of the background you get what I'm trying to say so I cleaned up this part so content aware will just use this part of the background to fill up the remaining parts of the background then after working on this I'll work on on down on the floor part of the background so content aware has done its job so I'll just click on OK so right now I'm just going to deselect that and then you see this is the layer this is the field which content aware has done if you can see it's not clean enough still but don't worry we'll solve that all right now i'll just create a clip marks create a clipping marks and then match that clip marks right now i'm going to also work on the down part of the background on the floor part of the background so i'll just select the floor part of the background Just going to use my lasso tool to also select that. Okay, I think that's okay. So I'm just going to right click, same thing, and then I'll click on content away field. So I'll click on OK. Same thing, I'm going to use a clip, put the clip marks and then match that. And I'm also going to deselect. As you can see, we're having some issues here. I could just leave it like this because I'm going to blow out the image. So we don't need to worry about this. As you can see, I told you that the image, the background is still not clean enough. So this is what we're going to do. If you want to add, uh, what they call it, if you want to add, um, if you want to add uh, an overlay, let's say a textured background, if you want to add a textured background to this, so I will just advise you to click on Ctrl J first, blur, blur this background, just blur it like this, this is okay, click on it, okay, you create a clipping marks and then click that to it, and then you bring in the background you want to, you want to add to it. Let's say I want to add this textured background to it. I'll just bring it in. Just bring it in. Okay. And then I just change the blend mode to, let's say, luminosity. For me, I like changing blend mode to luminosity. And then I just reduce the field you get. I just reduce the field. So right now I can on everything. As you can see, I've added that textured background to it. I could also decide to change the color of that textured background by going to the, um, I can go to hue and saturation and then decide to change the check textured background. You get to anything I like, anyhow I like it. You get anyhow I like it. So right now we have a textured background there, very, very clean. You get very, very clean. Another thing I would advise you to do to that textured background is to reduce it reduce the feel the reason why is so that the shadows can come up a bit in the image so you don't clean up all the shadows you get another thing you could do while doing that textured background is you probably don't need to blur the image that much you get before you put your textured background so that the shadows will remain a bit but for those that don't want to put a textured background but you just want your clean background like me this is what you do when immediately we deselect next thing you're going to do is add just use the marquee tool to select the top of this image like now around here so this is the top of the background use the marquee after you select the top of the background you go to your solid color click on ok off it double click on it and then pick this um the color of this background the mid-tones so around here is the mid-tones of the background you just click on it and then our advice is just off the stuff done on this one double click on it then pick the mid-tones of this one okay and click on okay so right now we have that background layer so what i'm going to do here is i'm also going to reduce the feel of this 
solid color, solid color background, um, solid color uh, fill. I reduce it to 50. Yeah, so I have that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click this to my background layer. Then make a copy of my background layer. And then I'm just going to go to my filter. Then I'm going to go blow, Gaussian blow. And then I'll blow that. As you can see now, we're having a really, 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 really clean background. Hmm? Like really, really clean background. And we we'll still have the shadows there. there is not that prominent, but it's still there. You get what I'm trying to say? So I can just click on OK there. As you can see, before, after, before, after. The reason why I add the solid colors, I could just blur the background, but the reason why I add the solid colors is because if you don't blow, if you don't add those solid colors, the due to the feel, due to the content aware feel, we'll be having different colors in between the background. You get we have different colors. The last thing we'll do after we've cleared this is we'll, or before uh, before we mark that is to on this um top layer we'll also go to camera raw and then give that background a texture. The reason why we're giving the, it the texture that's give it a sort of a noise texture the reason why we do that is so that it, you avoid banding on the image after you've exported your image if you export if you edit your your image like this and then you export it you will be seeing some bandings on the image on the background this is due to the blow with uh, the blow effect you've applied to the background so to to avoid that you just give your image um some greens using the effect panel go to the effect panel and give your image some greens for me, I like giving my image between 30 to 35. I just give it 35. Most times I just give it 35. And I click on OK. As you can see, I've given my image sort of texture, noise you get. So for me, that's all about background um, cleanup. So you just mark that. So that's all about background cleanup. So either you want to add overlay to your background, that is you want to add another background to your background, a textured background, or you just want a clean background you get. So this tutorial i think it has sorted out all you need about cleaning up your background so i'll see if you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe yeah don't forget to subscribe please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial have a wonderful day guys